Yeah, uh, I was uh, going to say, yeah, everyone did really good. It was really awesome mm -hmm. to be part of that. But I was really just amazed by Dan, like, running different crews and just very professional. I was like, oh. I was in awe, and I just kind of took a creep <laughs> shot. Nice of you to say. Like, Thanks, he looked at me like... <laughs> But yeah, he's in his element. He was in his yeah. element. No, it was it was awesome. Very. It was kind of cool to be back because <laughs> for those that <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> for those that aren't aware, before I came and worked on the podcast, I did live shows at venues like that uh, as a career for many years, and so that was sort of like a, <laughs> a you know throwback for me to be yeah. in that environment at a. Do it live! venue and doing all that kind of stuff um and it was fun but it was also a reminder that i i much much prefer doing what we do here in the <laughs> studio and i'm so grateful for this job and uh well we love it you. was a really stressful <laughs> job right yeah it's extremely stressful because you know the the timelines on everything is very short and you're basically walking into a new building mm. uh, every yeah. day and building a studio yeah and, and then tearing it down at the end of the night That's and crazy. uh you know, and trying to get it all working and fixed and everything. Yeah. So anyway, was it like um, a feast and famine thing where sometimes you didn't have work? Oh, yeah. Big time. See, that fu that sucks. Yeah, yeah, that was part of why I was very happy to jump ship and come mm -hmm. work for you guys. Because you guys just offered me a freaking salary, which that right. was like, I, I, I was a gig worker for a decade prior yeah. wow. to that. So well, it was pretty nice. You're the man. 